Assalamualaikum and salam chatra. Welcome to IS205 lecture series where in this video uh, we will cover on the how to use uh, accounting software to create new company, creating the new account codes and creating the badges. Uh, we are using the UBS, Sage UBS accounting software to explain on these um, topics you need to open your sage ubs uh, software and you will come to this page where you actually need to uh, create a new one or select the, uh, the data that you already have so since we are creating a new one so you click the add button or if you use a uh, new versions of UBS then you have um, one button it says create so just click at the button create then you will add another one uh, at a new company data so you will name your company X uh, Z Y X uh, enterprise and uh, the data for the zyx the price is already uploaded in new future you can download the um, the necessary data that to be input into the software so you can download that but um the file first Okay, after you put up the X, uh, the Z Y X Enterprise, the name of the new company, and you choose directory, you just click the directory here, uh, the arrow button on the right there, uh, then you select the UBS uh, UBS ACC ninety, then uh, click, then put the new um, uh, the new company or to create actually a new folder for this particular company data so you just put z x x x y z y x and click save so you have the new company then you click cancel to select the new company that you create just now you highlight uh, which company this is the company they choose uh, zyx uh, then you once you choose this zyx uh, company then you click select okay then you are going to generate the data files then click ok and then you see confirm it yes well, confirm to generate the data files for uh, the company the new company that we create then after this generated then click ok so you now comes to the page to um, log into your UBS accounting okay then you have um, admin then the uh, password so, uh, uh, user id admin and the password is ubs so type the password with the capital letter ubs then sign in so you come to the setup wizard never mind just let it uh, be because we will adjust the data in the housekeeping later on and click ok next and done so you come to the main uh, layout of the software so you will have the uh, menu of file general debtors creditors transactions reports periodic housekeeping and help this is button is very helpful because um, the help buttons you can find any other um, tools that um, anything that probably uh, to solve your problems along the way just click at the help button okay just now we do not uh, specify the name of the company or the address 
all the details of the company and also all the uh, accounting gear we do not specify anything so we can go to the uh, here housekeeping menu on number seven the top of your um, uh, screen you have a housekeeping then you have a menu of setup then we go to general setup so here you can adjust your company profile okay so the comp our company is no longer cgps then you can uh, edit them because our company um, uh, is specified as that yx enterprise and the address is no longer like this so you can refer to the part that i shared with you in ubs so in ubs in your future um this is the file that you will um have okay these are the details so the detail is uh, um, you can copy them and put inside the um, ubs Once you um, uh, write on all the details, then uh, the uh, other setting is the last accounting year. Here it says the closing date for last accounting year is 31st December 2019. That is right here. So when we want to record um, transactions that belong to 2020, so your starting period is 1 and the closing period is 12. Uh, normally, we will put the closing period of 12 because it's one year accounting year. Uh, and it says here this accounting year starting from 1st January 2020 until 31st December 2020. So if you converting um, the manual uh, transactions, I mean, the data previously you do on um, on manual so uh, let's say you convert um, converting to um, computerized um, software uh, starting october so your starting period can be changed into 10 that is for your october um uh, 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 10, uh, 10 is for october so it's it will be Different eh? because um, uh, the, the it will uh, only give you the ability to record from October until December, and you can put um, the opening balances starting the first October. But do not worry with uh, those technicality because if you buy an accounting software from a seller then you can ask the seller to assist you because you are not only buying their product but also the services that they should help you on the technicalities okay let's say you have already written um, to fill in uh, the company profile and details um, here we can see that there's that this account groups uh, from 3000 to uh, 3000 uh, you can change it 3000 to 3100 or the creditors account group becomes the 4000 to 4100 it depends how many debtors or how many uh, creditors that you have uh, uh, okay um, then uh, it, just leave it there uh, you can uh, adjust them later if you need to change the debt group and creditors group other folder that you will, you will see there's a setting and uh, setting 2 and setting 3 uh, never mind about that for now because those are um, some technical um, features that you want uh, to display in your software so after you're updating, uh, fill in the company details and you click OK. Uh, so you can save the data. Now, the next 
step is to create your account codes um, uh, because the uh, accounting software will need for you, need you to instruct them how to um, list out how to arrange your account as in your um, uh, statement of profit or loss and also statement of financial position because they do not know okay what account to be in which statement so you need to create the account according to the statement that you already learned uh, for example if you are creating the non-current asset so the computer application already recognize the non-current asset as the data that should be in the statement of financial positions so you need to tell which transactions that you record in which codes so that the codes will be read as uh, uh, the data that should be displayed in statement of financial positions so to create the codes you can click at uh, the menu uh, on the top menu that called general so you click general so you will uh, see there is a general ledger account maintenance once you click at uh, this then you come to a new uh, small windows then this is where you will create or add up your account codes for example uh, capital so capital uh, um, usually we use the 1100 the coding for capital um, but you normally we create the code first on paper and so on just to make sure that it's um, not you know, duplicated to create the codes so uh, do not worry on the creating the codes because i already provide you on uh, what other codes should be so it's in the file that i ask you to download from the U future for example here the account number the codes is 1000 is for capital okay so you can go to create a new one go to the bottom of the small window then you have a button add so you click that button click add so now you can type uh, on the uh, boxes inside the small window so your account number just now for capital is one zero 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 and the, uh, uh, the three digit uh, uh, of the slash is actually the subsections uh, normally if we have lots of subsections um, of the accounts for example um, we have uh, many debtors and some of the debtors um, can be recognized with the alphabet so you can put uh, a a a a for those um, for one um, company that start with the A or for example we have uh, a company that we call CDC so you can put you know, these subsections of the code CDC so it's easy for us to um, find or to retrieve uh, that particular account just by um, uh, memorizing or remember memorizing the name of the debtors so if you do not have the subsections uh, code just put zero 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 and I click too many zero and then the uh, account descriptions you can capital uh, but they use the capital letters sorry capital Okay, and you have this here bank account, um, but do not click for the capital because you if if this account is belongs to bank account means that you have an inflow or outflow 
of money so you, you need to click bank because sometimes we have two or three bank account for the company so click here for the bank account okay, special account um if you click a special account it can uh, it's uh, listing out whether this is a cash account or a balance sheet stock or bank account or a closing stock and so on it's a header and so uh, but the capital is not a special account it's just the name of it okay. then click ok click ok sorry click cancel because it's not related to any uh, special account okay department country code um, not to worry about that one okay and the account type uh, we can click here and uh, choose a then click ok or you can click here at the a uh, actually it's the same thing it's on so once you click um all the account types of a the, the capital belongs to capital means that uh, it is in honest equity um uh, part so then you click save so for the next um uh, accounting codes you can uh, refer back to the file that i shared with you for example we have um uh, pictures and fittings that is 2010 so you can add a new one so uh, Two zero one zero 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 zero. That is the um, um, features and fittings. So there's not special account and so on, but the types you need to change. It's not um, capital, but it's a fixed asset okay. now we call non-current asset but this computer software I'm still using the old term so click at the fixed asset and click ok then save it now you you need to um, um fill in to add all these account codes um, first then you will look into the chart of accounts whether you are uh, enter the account codes correctly or not so to uh, to list out um, the chart of accounts first of all you need to exit in the main text of data so you click again to the menu of general and you click the print the chart of accounts um, a new window will open and you click all of the above means that general ledger account that the second and creditors account from the zero zero until this is it and click ok so then these are the two um, account codes that we already create so you need to fill out all those account code first um, then you will do the chart of accounts that is full with all the charts uh, the account codes that provided to you you need to um, uh, create this um, account code first before you enter uh, data of the business transactions because without these accounts um, then it will be difficult for you to enter the data of the transactions later on for example uh, in uh, currently i don't have any expenses account so you if you want um, to, to enter the transactions that belongs to an expenses so you need to go uh, to again creating the accounts uh, codes for that particular account then you can um, enter the transactions in this uh, software
Okay, after we exit from that particular window, um, so now we continue with organizing the badges for the transactions. Badges is actually more for reporting uh, data uh, that you enter into this software. So you can go to um, the menu of transactions then you have this uh, menu of organized batches so you need to add the new batches um so um, the batch is usually uh organizing uh, which are on for sales which are for purchases um, which are for the other transactions uh, revenues the sales and so on so do not worry about the batches yeah, i already create for, uh, for you and the part that i use you to download so the batches need to be created uh, is sales january 20 um, that is for um, a, a, a credit of type um, and then purchases purchases return and so on so just create those batches so now we need to create the sales for January 20 because for January we put period of one because January is number one month so you just put one so again to create the batches so you click the button add down there on the left click add so batch number one the batch type is um, a credit Okay, um, we have um, sales. Oops. Okay, again, the sales January 20. Three times January 20. And the number is just pin zero because it's for admin. And uh, if you put pin, means that which user that can access this particular uh, batches so you put period one so that is you creating uh, the batch so the next batch you just click add so the next one is the sales return so put the name sales returns that says returns for January 20 that's January 20 again the period of uh, one um, then if you uh, uh, once you fill up all the batches then you can click exit to to save uh, all the batches that you already created so that's it for now um, we covered all the th three topics um, continue with all the details that I provide with you in this particular file. So go on with your work. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.